Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I've got another new treat here. Um, this one is a brand new uh, limited edition springtime treat. Uh, I'm a little late to the game. It's been spring for a little while now. This one's actually, uh, uh, as you'll see in a moment from the packaging, it was uh, intended as a uh, an Easter release, and Easter was now a couple weeks ago. Uh, I had run into a, a little bit of an issue. Uh, my usual co-host, Jordan, who actually uh, would be somebody that I was planning on trying this with, uh, ended up with a toothache. Not because he eats too much candy, because remember, he's one of the world's pickiest kids, uh, but, uh, you know, he, he doesn't eat a whole lot of candy, but he, he did end up with a toothache, and so we had to kind of delay this, and we weren't able to do the video like I wanted to, but it's here now. Uh, I have a new special edition flavor of uh, red vines, and these are raspberry flavored. <clears throat> Red vines were introduced in the uh, in the 1920s, and believe it or not, the original flavor of red vines was raspberry. Uh, sometime in the 1950s, they changed it to what they call original red, which is kind of a generic, just uh, sweet flavor. It's not particularly, they probably do use some fruit flavors in it, but it's not any particular specific fruit. Uh, and these ones are kind of a throwback to the original red vines. This company is based out of Union City right now, which is not too far from me. Uh, they were originally uh, based in uh, Chicago, I believe. Uh, but there's one other flavor uh, that they're introduced for springtime, uh, and it was a uh, lemon blueberry. I was unable to find that flavor in stores, but I read some of the reviews online, and and it didn't sound really good at all. These ones got pretty good reviews on their own website, but the Red Vines website, uh, a lot of people were kind of uh, saying that the uh, lemon blueberry didn't have a whole lot of flavor and wasn't really that good. These ones, I'm going to try them out. I'm going to tell you how, how good they are. And you can see right there, just to prove to you that this is a seasonal product, like I was uh, claiming, there's the Easter Bunny with a basket of, are those Easter eggs? They're raspberries, actually. But they might as well be Easter eggs. Anyway, it's the Easter Bunny with a basket of raspberries. Raspberry flavored red vines. I'm going to open them up, try them, tell you how they are. Jordan can't be here right now. Uh, we're trying to keep them away from <laughs> sticky candies at the moment. Uh, he's feeling much better now. His toothache has gone away. He's gonna get the tooth fixed really soon here, but anyway, uh, this kind of thing happens with kids sometimes. <clears throat> it's kind of unavoidable. We do brush his teeth regularly, so no concern there. Wow, these smell really good. Very, very strong raspberry scent. Very uh, fruity and floral. Just like real raspberries and you can see there I don't know if you're uh, you know too familiar with with normal red vines but they're not quite as bright as this these are actually really bright I probably should have bought some regular red vines so that I can compare these are brighter in color and a lot more red and they smell really delicious and let's see how they taste definitely distinctly different from regular red vines um, yeah, very strong raspberry flavor. Uh, they're not quite as tart as a lot of raspberry candies are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but they do have a really good sweet raspberry flavor. And they smell very strongly of raspberry and they're quite delicious. And I highly recommend them. You should be able to find these on stores still. Uh, like I said, they're you know technically, uh, I believe, an Easter product. But, uh, you know, there's aside from the Easter Bunny there, like I said, he is carrying a bag, uh, basket of raspberries and not Easter eggs. So these should still actually be on the market. And, and in fact, I actually checked a couple days ago. Like I said, Easter was a couple weeks back. Uh, you can still buy these on the Red Vines website. Uh, it, I was, uh, in doing a little bit of research on Red Vines, I read that there's a bit of a rivalry between uh, Red Vines and Twizzlers, which is another brand. They have a completely different texture, completely different flavor from Red Vines. <clears throat> but apparently, the line of uh, fans between the two, uh, Twizzlers and Red Vines, is pretty strongly split down the middle of the country. So if you're on the East Coast and you're watching this video, I don't know how easily you're going to be able to find Red Vines. I'm pretty sure they're available nationwide. But uh, I really recommend checking these out. The texture is much softer than Twizzlers. I love Twizzlers too. I'm not going to complain about Twizzlers, but... Uh, you know, red vines are really, really kind of my favorite. I've been also wanting to do a, uh, a review of the uh, the grape flavor, which is another common flavor they make. I'm pretty sure that one's done year round alongside the black licorice flavor, uh, but I haven't been able to find any grape flavor. I don't know if they're in production right now, if they discontinued them, or if, uh, as a matter of fact, I know they didn't discontinue them because I've seen them online, but I haven't been able to find them in stores here 
and if I manage to get a hold of some, I'm going to do a video review of those for anybody who hasn't tried them. Let you know how they are. These are really fantastic. Once Jordan's got his tooth fixed and he's feeling better, uh, he's going to really love these. And I will save some for him and share them with him. And we'll make sure he brushes his teeth after. I'm not going to let his teeth ride out. Anyway, <laughs> these are really good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I've got a lot more coming up. Don't forget to drop me some uh, comments below if you want to join the discussion. Maybe give me a little word of encouragement um, or criticism. Don't do that. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.